Welcome to my channel, Woke Words. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I went ahead and pulled an oracle card to get an overall idea of the energy the Spirit may be trying to tell you in this reading. And you got Resilience, the number 21. And then to clarify, you got the Hierophant card for the Tarot card. So I feel like right off the bat, the message that Spirit could be trying to tell you is... If you see all this on this person's back, it looks like there's a lot of growth coming out of it. I do notice that there is a heavy load on this person's back, but I just notice like there's a lot of growth, a lot of green growth coming out of this load, okay? So it could be saying that if you keep in your spiritual practices with the Hierophant and your routines, which is also a card that can be signified from the Hierophant, that just stick with it and be resilient because this is a period of time that is kind of like the universe is testing you in a way for your resilience. It's like character development. It's developing you and there are rewards at the end of this. Even if they're just within yourself, you realize and see how much you've grown as a person once you get through this period of time. So I think that's like one of the main messages that Spirit's trying to convey with those two cards. We're going to get a nine card block for you and someone you're dealing with in a connection. And we're going to do three for the past, three for the current energies, three for the upcoming. Two flip, sorry. And then we're going to get another tarot deck and clarify some of those cards for Sagittarius. So we already got two for the past. So we need seven more cards. So for the past energy, you get the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the current spread, the current line is the King of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the upcoming is the Seven of Cups, the High Priestess card, the Eight of Swords. And I'm reading the left side of this spread as the person you're dealing with and the right side as you, but it could be swapped around. So in the underneath part of this energy or the underlying energy on the deck is the Four of Cups. So the person you're dealing with could have offered you some kind of offer in the past or currently, but you're not satisfied with whatever it is they're trying to offer you, okay? So in the past energy, they have the Eight of Cups, you have the Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups is between the two of you. So, this person in the past was walking away from this. You were, on the other hand, wanting balance with this connection. But they are energetically detaching from this connection. And the energy between the two of you is the Ten of Cups. So, either you could have been committed to this person at one time, married to this person, or you could have not been, but both people saw this connection as the potential to have the Ten of Cups with this connection. If this connection was successful, from both people's perspective, there was the possibility for the Ten of Cups here. But for whatever reason, the person on the left was choosing to energetically detach and walk away, and the person on the right was trying to make efforts to get this connection balanced with the Six of Pentacles here. But you can't balance it out if just one person on the right is trying to do the balancing while the one on the left is walking away. A lot of times, I'm not saying in this connection this is it, but sometimes you see people walk away or energetically detach from a connection because they feel intense emotions for that person and then it triggers wounds from the past or from their childhood or from past connections and so it kind of scares them. So they energetically detach. It kind of triggers them, brings things up from beneath the surface that they've been harboring for a long time. They may not even consciously realize that's why they're actually walking away from the connection. But a lot of times, if they feel it very intensely, the first thing they do is walk away from it because they're not truly walking away from you. Actually, what they're doing is running from their own healing work. In the current energy, your person has the King of Swords you have the Three of Wands and the Six of Swords is between the two of you. Moving on to calmer waters, that's the Six of Swords. But I'm seeing this as 
you still had in the current energy if this resonates it's like you still have a positive expectation of wanting this connection to go into a better place but here's the person showing up as the king of swords so like i said in the eight of cups they were energetically detaching from this connection they're not wanting to look at their emotions they're in the king of swords energy that's being very logical very clear-minded no emotion is in the king of swords so it's like with the three of wands here you have positive expectations of waiting on this person to open up emotionally instead of waiting on them to do that i would just focus on me and but it looks like you are doing that as well because the higher font cards here and resilience or if you're not that's what spirit is trying to tell you to do that this whole thing whatever is going on in your life is sent to you for you to develop yourself and become resilient in some sort of way in the upcoming energy your person is in the seven of cups you're in the eight of swords and the high priestess is between you i feel like this is the energy of no communication in the upcoming with the high priestess we'll clarify and make sure that that's what it is but it could be a period of both people not talking possibly it can be secrets but in this case it would be like keeping the emotions from you i feel like this person being in the seven of cups it's like more like instead of options i feel like this is confusion why because they're detaching from their emotions so of course they're going to be confused about the connection and with no communication from this person you're in the eight of swords getting caught up in your thoughts so they're being caught up in their they're like refusing to look at their emotions so it's causing confusion okay the seven of cups they're just confused about the whole connection in general so we're going to clarify some of the cards and see if anything comes out regarding like action or communication for the past energy i want to clarify the eight of cups which is the person energetically walking away i feel like this connection they saw it as the potential of having the ten of cups which makes no sense why would you energetically detach from something if you feel like it has the potential to bring the ten of cups the only logical reason I could come up with is that they were trying to run from their emotions. The Knight of Swords is clarifying the Eight of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Six of Pentacles. So there's the Six of Pentacles twice. That's two times mentioning the word balance. In my head, I'm seeing balance with this Six of Pentacles. But it's like they energetically, suddenly energetically detached from this connection why because this connection was very intense and it started to trigger an awakening it started to grab them at their soul level this connection was bringing up parts of them that they never even knew were dead they were bringing them to life i'm feeling like that evanescent song bring me to life or bring me back to life something like that so this connection was very intense with like it suddenly hit them they may have been wanting balance with you with the Six of Pentacles here, but they had never been in a connection like this. So quickly and suddenly, they detached. This is almost like the energy of ghosting someone because you feel intense emotions and you're not sure how to process those emotions. So they detached from the connection. All right, so for the current energy, I want to clarify the King of Swords. See what's behind this King of Swords card. I feel like, like I said, they're not wanting to look at their emotions at all. So let's clarify the King of Swords for Sagittarius. Get three cards. Uh-oh. The Two of Swords. The Nine of Cups. The King of Swords again. Don't you love it when the tarot does that? <laughs> Clarifies the King of Swords by the King of Swords. So not looking at their emotions. Two of Swords being stuck guarding their heart this person is not they have their blindfold on the water is behind them in the card water signifies emotion okay they have their back turned to the water they have their back turned to the emotion and i always read the cards the way my intuition tells me to i know some people argue with me about the meaning like they have one set meaning but i read the cards the way my intuition tells me to read it and with this card the thing that both of these people have in common is, in both cards, this one, the cups of water, is behind this man. He's not looking at them. 
He's got his arms crossed. He's covering his heart in this in this situation. I don't always read that card that way. But look at here. This person's in the two of swords. They have the water behind them. They have it behind them. They are refusing to look at their emotions. Why? Because they're detaching from their emotions with the king of swords and the eight of cups. This person, the don't take it personal that this person is not communicating with you. This person feels a lot of emotion for you and that's the reason why they're detaching because they have some inner work to do. They have some healing to do and it triggers them because they have a lot of feelings deep down for you. Okay. So let's clarify the seven of cups, which is their upcoming energy. They're going to be in a lot of confusion. Why are they going to feel like that? Because they're in the energy of, they know this can bring them the 10 of cups, but they're going to have to look within and fix some things on the inside of them, some wounds they have from either from childhood or past connections. And don't we all have those wounds from past connections or childhood? Like if you're a human and you're an adult, then you have some of those, but they're in confusion because they want this connection. But at the same time, they're triggered by it because it makes them feel very intense. So let's clarify the seven of cups for Sagittarius. Get three cards for Sagittarius. The king of cups, the three of wands, the seven of swords, okay? So I don't feel like this seven of swords is deceitful like as far as lying and trying to hurt you. I actually feel for this person, okay? Because this person has a lot of emotion for you. See the king of cups? They have a lot of love, okay? And they have a positive expectation of where this can go. But they're not wanting to look at it. It's like not, not to you. It's like even to themselves. They don't know how to even sit with it, the truth within themselves. Like even in their thoughts. Their thoughts are not even thinking true because they are not wanting to look at their emotions. If they could just look at their emotions, then they'd be good. But it's like they're trying to, just like the Eight of Cups, they're trying to energetically detach. Why? Because it's like, in their mind, this is too good to be true. So, they run from it because they feel it very intensely and they're scared of getting hurt. But they have positive expectations. They believe this could go somewhere really good because they love you a lot. So, maybe this person will eventually go within. We're going to get three cards from the universe based on the vibrations you could be given off slash advice you may need to hear from spirit. But just know that this connection in general, if this is what's going on for you, is teaching you resilience. Just stick with your daily routines, your meditation, your practices that you use for healing and just know that it's making you grow as a person, it's developing your character. And if you care about this person, this person cares about you. If they take their free will to do their inner work and you do your healing work, then you can eventually probably come together because I feel like both people have a lot of emotion for each other, like I said. So we're going to get three cards for Sagittarius to close the reading. The Three of Cups, the Moon card, the Knight of Pentacles. The Page of Swords is at the bottom, so this person is probably watching some kind of like if you have social media or you live close by or if y'all have common friends, this person could be talking to your friends as friends with them. But I feel like it's like right now, it's not clear whether this will be a reconciliation energy that you and this person will come back together. But I do feel like after a lot of growth with the moon card, that's like subconscious reprogramming, healing on a soul level then there is a potential for reconciliation, but just know you're going to have to be patient. Why? Because the Knight of Pentacles energy is on, is with it, and that's not very fast energy. This, this Knight always gets accomplished what he sets out to do, but he's very slow, methodical, and grounded. He plans his steps out. It's not something that happens overnight, but something that takes a long time is always pretty significant. Just remember that. Something that happens overnight usually isn't very substantial but something that takes a long time to grow and develop, it's usually more solid and stable in the 3D world. So I feel like this connection is slowly and steadily going in a good place if both people do the work on themselves. There's a potential here that you and this person could come together 
and it would create a ten of cups situation. Okay, Sagittarius, that's been your reading, and thank you so much for watching.